Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to call this uh, land bank meeting to order. Would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, roll call, please. Commissioner Nagaha? Here. Commissioner Sherman? Yes, sir. Mrs. Magnetta? Present. Mrs. Gatto? Here. Mary Schellick? Present. And Mr. Tobin? Present. Thank you. Uh, I'll enter, or I'm sorry, opportunity for the public to address the board on agenda items only. Seeing that there is no one, uh, I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes from our October 9th meeting. Motion. Is there a second? Second. On the question? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it and the minutes have been approved. I'll entertain a motion to approve the vouchers uh, from October 10th, 2024 through November 13th, 2024. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Is there a second? I'll second. On the question? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it and the vouchers have been approved. Um, Ralph, there are no bid openings, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, next up is discussion items. First one is the land bank property disposition update. Yes, uh, to date, uh, the land bank has. Okay. To date, the, the land bank has conveyed. Actually, this went up. I just uh, recorded two board deeds this morning, so it's 371 properties conveyed countywide to date. Uh, the city of Scranton, uh, 262 properties with three properties pending and uh, three properties to be acted on at today's meeting. Just to break down by zip code in the city in West Scranton, 80 properties have been conveyed. In South Scranton, 67 properties have been conveyed. North Scranton, 65 properties have been conveyed. 22 properties in Green Ridge, 16 in East Scranton. We've conveyed three properties to the city of Scranton three properties to the United Neighborhood Community Development Corporation, five properties to the Scranton Lackawanna Resource Development Corporation, one property to the Ronald McDonald House, 57 properties in Covington Township, and uh, one property to be acted on today at today's meeting. Carbondale City, 18 properties conveyed with one property pending. Vandling, one property conveyed. To Fell Township, four properties conveyed. Troop. Borough, two properties. <coughs> Scott Township, four properties conveyed. Well, actually, uh, 16. It was the, the two properties that I that I re recorded this morning in Scott Township. So that's 16 properties in Scott Township. Thornhurst, five properties conveyed. Jefferson Township, one property conveyed. Dunmore Borough, two properties. Archibald, Burry, Archibald Borough, two properties conveyed. Blakely Borough, one property conveyed. That's the breakdown of our property disposition to date. Thank you. Any questions for Ralph on that? Okay, very good. Uh, the next up, next up is the Blight Task Force update. Okay, there's really, um, you know, at the last meeting we did discuss again the 1409 Watson Street. There really hasn't been any movement on that yet. We're still getting together with NeighborWorks to see exactly what we're going to do with that property. Uh, Another thing we, we would like to talk about today is back in May, we, we uh, acquired three properties in, in Garfield Avenue, the 300 block of Garfield, for potential affordable housing. And I'm going to let Todd talk about what the plan is for those properties right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be applying for some funding through PHFA, um, through their FAIR program, um, in order to put, uh, I believe we're looking at two um, units of affordable housing for seniors. So uh, kind of taking the uh, ECHO model of um, uh, kind of accessory dwelling unit um, type of home that we can place on a caregiver's home, taking that model um, and uh, creating a couple of homes that uh, seniors can live in independently. So um, yeah, so we're asking for uh, just the, the land bank board's permission to, um, you know, if uh, we receive those funds, we would then acquire the, formally acquire the, take ownership of the properties and uh, construct those two homes on, on them. I think that's great. Is there a way that we can 
like see one of these homes in person and these little these echo homes you're yeah 100 percent. yeah absolutely um yeah we'd I'm be just happy curious, to just yeah we could arrange a time at, at some okay. point um give you a tour of uh, either one of the existing ones or um, i believe we have some that are under construction now okay um, at simplex so um, these units will probably be a little different probably slightly larger um, but uh similar in concept okay yeah i think it's a great great idea great program so yeah it's absolutely exciting. Yeah, th those are uh, three properties in the, the 300 block of Garfield. One property, I believe, is like 50 foot wide, and the other two is right in back of each other. They're each 25 feet wide, so it would be a 75-foot front that could easily accommodate two, two of those houses. Okay. Okay. Any uh, questions on that? All right. Thank you. Uh, next up is the Advisory Committee Property Acquisition Disposition Discussion. Okay, uh, if everyone wants to take a look at their uh, land bank property discussion worksheet. Uh, the first property is in Covington Township at Cherry Drive, uh, WD3-291. Uh, received a purchase property purchase application from Mindy and Carl Holt uh, from Moscow. Uh, this is a tax claim repository property, and they plan on uh, placing an RV on the property for recreational use. The only property, the only application received for the property, and they submitted an offer of $500 for this property. The next one is at 1601 Crown Avenue, and we received a property purchase application from Walter Delaman, doing business as WWD Real Estate LLC, and he's from Fredericksburg, Virginia. However, he does own, he does have property in the area, and he does own two other properties in the city, and the, the city has no issues with Mr. Delaman. So uh, he plans to build a two-family home on this property. And again, this, this is a, a property that's been in the land bank for a while. So, you know, I'd be glad to get it back on the tax rolls. Uh, there's no additional applications for the property, and he submitted an offer of $500 for the property. The next one is a repository property located at 102 Anthony Street, which is down in... Um, I guess it's called the Sandy Banks area of the city. Uh, we received the application from John Litwinski of 530 Gordon Avenue, and he uh, owns the property right across the street. Just wants to use this property as green space and clean it up. No other additional applications received for the property, and he submitted an offer of $500 for the property. The next one is at 515 Schultz Court. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a very small parcel that's really part of an existing property that Alto Strata Development LLC already owns. So believe it or not, there was a house on that little property at one time, but they just want to make that uh, you know, complete. So uh, this plan is consolidate this property with the property they currently own, which is with fronts on 515 Harrison Avenue and constructing a single family home. They've constructed quite a few properties in the city so far, this development company. So uh, they submitted an offer of $150 for the property under the side lot program. Thanks, Ralph. Does anyone have any questions on any of those uh, properties? Okay, very good. Just, uh, Commissioner, the uh, advisory board recommended that we approve all those four uh, issue four transactions just wanted to put that on the let you know that okay as, yep. Thanks, as, yeah Todd is here representing the, the advisory board and they, they approved it at our it was on Friday that we had our advisory <clears throat> due to the holiday so okay great. okay great anyone have anything else all right very good Okay, into the action items. Uh, first up is resolution number 24-030. This is approving the acquisition of additional property from the tax claim office repository list of unsold property. And uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve this resolution. Motion to approve. Second. There's been a motion and a second. On the question, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it and the resolution has been approved. Resolution number 24-031, this is approving the conveyance of certain land bank owned property under the property purchase program. I'll entertain a motion to approve. I'll make a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. On the question, 
All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it, and the resolution has been approved. Resolution number 24-032, this is approving the conveyance of certain land bank owned property under the side lot purchase program. I'll entertain a motion to approve. I'll make the motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. On the question, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it and the resolution has been approved. Opportunity for the public to address the board. Seeing that there is no one, we'll move on to directors, other business. Does anyone have anything uh, that they'd like to discuss? No? Okay. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Is there a second? Second. On the question, our next scheduled land bank meeting will be Wednesday, December 11th, 2024 at 11 a.m. All those in favor of adjourning, <coughs> excuse me, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it, <coughs> and the meeting is adjourned. Thank you.